Hello, we need to talk about Gilart and Gilart stock and where it's going in 2022. Big things are piling up and the pressure is mounting. If we look at the price action, since 2022, the stock has slowly but surely seen lower lows and higher highs, which means that a clear uptrend formation has formed. There's been one recent piece of solid news and we need to look at the forward-looking statement within the recent earnings call to seriously gauge the bullish nature of Gila moving forward. Factor in the recent global state of affairs and also there is one institutional investor very interestingly has increased their position and when they do this, you want to pay attention. So stay tuned for this and more. Keep it simple. Well, 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 on earnings call day, Guy Lot stock went up 8.61%, meaning something bullish must have come out or they must have absolutely smashed expectations. And as highlighted by CEO, and I'm probably going to butcher this name, Adi Safadia, commented in this earnings the highlights included that they launched sky edge iv which is gilart's next generation multi-orbit software centric platform we already know the significance of this and the outreach that this has already he goes on to note the second major accomplishment in 2021 was fortifying their mobility leadership in a multi-million dollar deal for sky edge iv which provides gilart to top cruise lines and maritime service providers that will use ses 03 b m power as well as their geostationary fleet. That is big. And the third major accomplishment was in Peru, where they basically took over the country. Finally, they also note that they had expanded their strategic partnership with Intelsat for commercial aviation in North America and Asia, demonstrating continued IFC market recovery. As I've always been saying last year, once aviation does recover, Gila is literally going to explode. But there is something that we will come back to briefly in this video that why I believe Gila will dominate this year because of their subsidiary Wavestream. On the 28th of February, Gila released this press release saying that TIM Brazil reaches over 1,000 sites leveraging Gila's platform to build the largest 4G cellular backhaul network in Latin America. That is absolutely huge. 4G satellite cellular network backhaul in Latin America. Do you know how many people will be connecting to this platform right here? And who are Tim? Tim are one of the largest mobile network operators in Brazil and they have the third largest market share according to Statista in 2021. And they say as new sites are added to the 4G network, Gilart provides to TIM Brazil a unique one-stop shop for timely deployment, commissioning and activation of satellite backhaul services, leveraging Gilart's local presence and delivery capabilities. This is very, very bullish for Gilart. On November the 29th, 2010, Gilart completed the acquisition of Wavestream Corporation. And why is this key in particular for Gilart's continued growth and explosion in this year? Because Wavestream USA's business clearly involves work with US military operations in providing ground and mobility platforms. And we can see this in their previous contract wins. Back in November, they won a contract to provide over $5 million worth of solid state amplifiers to a tier one US global military terminal provider. Note, US global military terminal provider. And the trail goes back for the whole of 2021, a lot of their orders were for governmental military applications. This is seriously bullish for me, and I can see more contracts coming as a result of the current ongoing conflict in Russia and Ukraine, which could continue to escalate. So I never thought that Gilad would become a factor in global conflict and could look to potentially benefit from the ongoing crises. But the fact remains that Wavestream is probably going to do very well this year, which means that Gilart will do very well. So please keep an eye out because I am expecting more things to come from Wavestream in the imminent near future. And finally, 
Gilat's institutional holdings has remained around the same levels since my last deep drill. But there's been one institutional investor that stands out for me, having increased their share positions by 28%. And that is none other than Jim Simons and Renaissance Technologies. By return alone, Rentec is the most successful investment fund in history and they use a quantitative mathematical model to automate their investments. So when their system is telling them to increase shares in Gilat, we better take note. To summarize, with 2022 fully in the mix and the current crises around the world, Gilat for me represents an incredible investment opportunity right now before any news of additional contracts to do with the military defense sector start flooding in. And if those happen, I reckon Gilat stock will likely go back to the moon where they went at the early part of 2021. So. Stay tuned for more updates on Gilart stock. Please note, I'm extremely bullish on Gilart moving forward. So please do your own DD before investing in any stock and understand the risks at the current time. If you found this video informative, then do me a simple favor and consider to subscribe to the channel so you get an update when a new video is uploaded. I am a simple trader. I try to keep this simple and will simply see you in the next video.